In this video, I'm going to go over how to use the remote control protocol and OSC to take data from your virtual production stage, whether it's from an Arduino or any OSC source. Could it even be a, a iPhone or iPad with a OSC touch OSC sliders and bring it into Unreal so that you can do things interesting with them. And you can do this all without being in Play. That's the key, right? So in the past, if you wanted to create an OSC receiver, you might build a, a actor and you would create the server on begin play. You have your IP address and your port number that's set up, and uh, you can create events, and those events would then be bound, and you could do stuff like print them out. You could get the variables, values, um, and map them to whatever you want, right? But if you want to do this without being in play, right? What you can do is you can activate the remote control API and in this case I'm using OSC you could also do DMX or MIDI okay and then in the project settings you get this remote control OSC protocol so all those values of the IP address and the port that I had in the blueprint before now you just put it in this protocol and now when you run Unreal the, the uh, server is already running so you don't need to run it and so then you create a preset, remote control preset, and it's right here, remote control preset. I made it right here, and it looks like this. Now once this preset is made, then objects in your scene, if you look, you see these little dots next to them? You can now slide these, this, this bar open here, and then you can see these little closed eyes. If you click on one of these eyes, it now makes this visible to your remote control uh, window and so then what you can do is in this case OSC is is running you can select this and you can add a binding and if you hit record on my touch OSC I am moving fader B or I can move fader M and um, the, the values of the path name will, will fill in here so if I like that fader B I can stop recording oh it's fader M and I can map the values in the input range to values of the output range. So here I want zero to be zero. And I can choose which which um, property to mask here. So I want what I want is zero this out. When I move my slider, fader M, I have Z masked out from zero to ninety. So when I move it, from, the input is zero to one, and it goes from 0 to 90 here. If I wanted to go 360 I can change the range here and now it goes from 0 to 360. So, oh, negative, well, whatever. Um, so now if you have an input source on your stage all of the LED walls that might be connected to this they can all receive the um, their attributes will get set and uh, they'll all immediately sync up and this is absolute value so if there a problem sometimes when you do um, when you do incremental is that things if they don't get the data at the right time they can be off right but this value is an absolute value so when you set something to be a certain value all of the your computers on the, on the wall are all going to get the same value and they may not get it at the same time but they will within a frame or two synchronize to that value and so they will be in lockstep so I hope that's useful good luck thank you